Hi guys, already in here with his little bonus video for you this week. Um, yeah, for the bonus video I'm gonna be making a phone boot. Now, um, I've already pre-measured and pre-cut a few pieces, as I do with my bonus video, but I will show you what you need to do. Is you take a piece of tin cardstock, the same we used for, uh, well, in uh, our apartment building for the door. Now you measure four centimeters like this and you measure six centimeters like this and just cut out a rectangle then you take half a centimeter on each side and you draw a line that line here so you draw half a centimeter then you measure one centimeter this way and do the same here and you draw another line like so See. On this side you do the same, you draw, you measure half a centimeter, draw the line, measure a centimeter, draw the line. Then we're gonna be cutting out uh, rectangles. So as you can see it's half a centimeter from the top and half a centimeter from the bottom. Right? So that's where we draw our end marks of uh, if this was still filled up. So you're gonna draw a large rectangle in here. Then again half a centimeter and you draw your first mark then you measure one centimeter from that mark and draw it just color it in huh? or something that you know because those are the three rectangles we're going to be cutting out so this line here half a centimeter one centimeter half a centimeter one centimeter half a centimeter one centimeter half a centimeter and then on the other side you're going to do exactly the same. Then I simply took uh, four other pieces of cardboard that are 4 by 6 which I cut out and simply put this upon and drew just so that you don't have to measure everything at the same time so I just use this as a template. And then you simply use my scissors to cut them out. Okay, so that's for the walls of our foam board. Then I took a piece of foam board and I measured it in, I don't even remember, I think uh, it is yeah, 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters and just cut it in half, peel the paper off well, don't cut it in half, but peel the paper off and score it at the halfway mark so you get 4 squares I just drew some cracks on it because this will be something we're going to be placing on our board this will be our base okay so we have our base we have our four wall pieces then we're going to be working on the roof now this is a piece I cut out also of the tin cardboard it was from the model airplane we used to make the batwing so the five also five by five centimeters Five, 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 five. Cut it out. Another piece, four centimeters. Four by four. Another piece, three centimeters, three by three. Another piece, and we're getting smaller, two by two. And the last piece, one centimeter, one by one. So we're gonna be, this will be our roof. Okay? So we're gonna slide that aside. Then what I did, I took my first piece and laid a piece of cardboard that is uh, six centimeters in length like this and one centimeter like this and that I drew a line halfway and scored it with my knife don't cut through it score it okay so this will be for the door of the foam boot okay next thing you do is you're gonna be making uh, a a whole bunch of these like I'm gonna be making six in total of these the only difference is uh, well six more actually huh? the only difference with those are instead of scoring the line you cut the line so you have half pieces now those pieces are gonna be to be glued on the side here but I'll show you in the video just make sure that 
once you make one centimeter by six centimeter piece like this one you score the other six you simply cut them in half so you have two parts out of this one rectangle okay that's all we're gonna need for now and in the meantime what you can do maybe is get some of this this is a rather thick uh, plastic sheet see and um, well we know the measurements of our foam boot so we're gonna start by cutting out four pieces we're not gonna glue them in not just yet we're gonna be cutting them out first so I cut out four of these pieces see uh, I didn't really measure them I used the Aretian way of measuring so I took the plastic and held it up against here and guesstimated how long it should be but I'll take my ruler to give you guys some idea in centimeters it's about three and a half centimeter a little less than three and a half centimeters by six centimeters okay well three centimeters by six centimeters three and a half by six but well, you see what I, I'm getting it when everything is painted and black bombs it will stand out quite nicely so yeah that's what we're gonna do after the white glue has dried and we've black bombed this thing I'm gonna start with gluing our roof just use white glue for this one my, my hot glue gun is heating up but that's not for this the rooftop I'm simply gonna use the white glue just smear it around a little bit so the glue gets everywhere and make sure you hit the center mark see hit the center mark I'm gonna do the same that's maybe way too much glue but it doesn't matter smear it around get the glue everywhere so be sure to align all the pieces that uh, you get a nice uh, pyramid shape then the same take our two centimeter piece so smear it around <coughs> so and our final little guy way too much glue but yeah what are you gonna do hmm? at least it will be steady on there <laughs> okay so you see what I did you get this pyramid shape this will be the roof of our foam boot oh, well we're gonna set this aside and while the hot glue is heating up we can oh yeah by the way a little advice uh, either don't glue the base on or don't glue the rooftop on yet because one we have to leave something open at the bottom because we're gonna spray paint this I recommend you leave the base you can put the roof on but don't put the base on because the base is foam board all the rest is cardboard so you can easily spray paint that spray paint that okay yeah, and also one thing you're gonna be needing is uh, yeah, I have this one it's a bead you can use some if you have something like this so you can use this or you can use a regular uh, big bead small bead it doesn't matter you can use something like this as well this is actually the well a decoration part to place on top of your roof just to give it a little bit more uh, texture and feels to it so that we are gonna be placing on with the hot glue let's check if the guy is hot yet no he's still warming up so we're gonna wait for a few seconds what I also <coughs> what I also did in the meantime is uh, took my door piece and cut a few pieces very small pieces about a little more than half a centimeter and glued them a little underneath the half point of the door these are the handles of the foam boot see like so but um, our hot glue gun is ready there's a whole dollop here so I'm quickly gonna put a little drop 
top here and take my bead. There we go. See? Nice decoration part on the top of our foam boot. Uh, okay. Now we're going to be gluing these sides together. Put the hot glue more to the inside of the foam boot. Take another piece and simply glue it together. Hold it in place for a second. Let it cure, let it harden. Remove the string part, the strings. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Now we're gonna do the same with this side. Same deal. The hot glue. It's too much, but doesn't matter. Smear it on the inside. Take your other piece. Oh yeah, I've marked the top pieces with a T, so that I know that's the top because, or it doesn't really matter. They're all the same in size, but just in case you want to build it a little different, but here the same. Thing. Hot glue on the inside. Glue it on, like so. Now for our final piece, take our piece of cardboard, put the hot glue inside. This part is, I'm going to do both parts at once, so I'm going to have to hurry before the hot glue cures. Quickly go over it. well so you, that you get a nice little uh, box like shape See? Oops. You get a nice little box shape there we go oh, uh, the one <coughs> as you can see there's one that I've but it doesn't matter for you which one you take of course but uh, well I've marked uh, this is the first one that I drew so I'm gonna use this one as my door. Just squirt some hot glue on there. Take my door piece. Glue it on. See? Like that. And now we're gonna be pulling a hot glue here. Make sure that we use enough hot glue. Not too much, of course. Then we're gonna take our small pieces that we've been cutting and we're gonna go around the foam book. Turn this around. It also hides the corrugation on the sides. But <coughs> this isn't an all that big a piece, so it doesn't really matter all that much. To me at least. Always, if you want to cover up the corrugation, well, there are you all know how to do that, right? And we're gonna go across the middle as well. There we go, getting this edge, the outer edge. It's always a good thing. <coughs> when you're crafting, sorry for my cough, but I have a, as I said, I have a cold. It's a good thing when you're crafting that you pre-cut and pre-measure everything, so you can get started right away. It makes your job a whole lot easier and faster. Well, we're starting to get a nice. <laughs> Almost looks like a miniature apartment building. <laughs> Oops, this one. Okay. Here the same. <clears throat> Again. You guys must 
be getting bored by watching me do this by now. But, well, we're almost done. Just one part left, so... Might as well keep the video rolling. fingers just drag the hot, the hot glue off remove as many strings as possible if you can it's not necessary to and there's a toothpick sticking to my glue gun <laughs> there we go and now for our final two pieces guys think these measurements are too big you can always <coughs> go smaller of course that's something but I'm losing my handle uh, you know what quickly with, with the hot glue burning my fingers as I do this not the first time of course A nice little box, foam boot box, and I'm gonna take our roof, will fit nicely upon there. So I'm gonna glue here. You can glue the roof, or you can put the glue here. I do it here. center mark like this you can always if you want to squirt some hot glue inside but let's see you think that's yeah now that's on there now all that remains is uh well you can I'm gonna show you I'm not gonna glue the base on you so don't do that guys or you can't spray paint this but yeah is our foam boot. See? Now I'm gonna spray paint this when the white glue is uh, dried and then I'll be back. Okay so it's ready to be black, bomb, black bombed blah blah. So in the meanwhile I took a little piece of foam board <coughs> and um, pulled the paper off and <laughs> written phone pressed down hard with my ballpoint pen written phone on top of it it's just a little stupid thing but could well so I'm simply gonna put squirt some hot glue on top of this grab this and simply hot glue it on make sure it's in the middle Voila! Now I am gonna cover this with some white glue and water it down and then I'm gonna black bond this. So simply put some white glue here, cup of water, take a fine brush, drag it in the water with the glue, rub it on a little bit more with it, simply and paint over the foam with the water down white glue do all sides guys not the one where the paper is still on top of it that's not necessary but where the foam is exposed simply smear 
the watered down white glue on top of it. Voila. Set it aside to dry. It's not a big piece and as I said the temperature is very warm here at the moment. So it will dry in about 10 minutes. And then we can black bomb this. to go. Okay. So it has been black bond. You see? Foam. And next thing I'm gonna do before I put the, the windows, the glasses in, it gives a nice effect doesn't it? Now before I'm gonna do that I'm gonna simply uh, paint the foam board in a black acrylic. Now you can do it in red if you prefer red, you can choose the color you want to do it. But I'm going to do it in a black metallic, so I'll be right back. So I got my black metallic, squared a little here, wet my brush a little bit, not too much, rub it on some paper, and take our black acrylic. over the phone booth. Just simply drag it up and down. I personally like the look of the black metallic. So and I'm gonna do the same for the roof the top to the bottom simply drag your brush like so then uh, I'm simply gonna take a little bit of white paint and paint in the letters simple white paint Take a little brush, take a little bit of the white paint, simply, it's kind of hard to do this on the camera, but simply, Do the entire leather part. Okay. <coughs> so next, I'm gonna take some silver. Not too much. A little bit of silver. With my brush a little bit. With the silver, I'm simply gonna. could go around the edges of the foam boat if you prefer. For me it's okay, I like it this way, but well, feel free to do with it whatever you want. Now I know uh, the next step, uh, step. The next step uh, was gonna do the base, but I, well I mean the windows first, but uh, after that we were gonna do the base, but I decided that I'm not gonna do a base. So with this I can still fit a miniature on top of it and I think I prefer it this way but if you guys want to uh, do a base feel free to do it. But now I'm not just, uh, just I ain't gonna do it. Okay so next we're gonna take our windows uh, see our windows and we put the PVA on the sides. You can use hot glue if you want to guys. Simply gonna use the white glue because white glue dries clear and 
it will be less of a mess. <laughs> so you see the white in here, it will dry clear, so I'm not worried about that. Press it down on it, and we turn the boot around. And we're gonna do well, basically, we're gonna do all the windows, okay? Voila, and it's glued in. Uh, after we go over the paint again for the phone because it was too light, but yeah, basically, our phone boot is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, th of course, don't worry about. Uh, the white showing through because it's PVA and it will dry clear even on uh, these kind of report card plastic so well hope you enjoyed the video this was our Ritian with his uh, tutorial bonus a phone boot hope you liked it see you next time guys take care bye <laughs>